Chattanooga Vectra Genesis How to Use the Buttons This is the Vectra Genesis from the Chattanooga Group. It is a combo unit. Now, in terms of the way the machine works, these are physical buttons that when you push, you will go to the next screen. To go back to the original screen, hit the home button, has a picture of a house. Another way to go back after you get to the next screen is to push the back button with the two arrows on it going backwards. When you want to actually start the machine, you need to hit the start button. The start button will allow you to turn up your intensities. This is your intensity knob, clockwise to increase intensity, counterclockwise to decrease intensity. There is a stop button right here and a pause button in case you need to modify mid-treatment. The on button for these machines is on the back here and you just click it. There is also a dial that you can change the brightness of the screen back there. When you first get your unit and you want to use ultrasound, you're going to need to make sure to plug in the plug into the correct location. You can tell by the picture of which location you want. When that happens, look at the ultrasound head and make sure that the lights blink. If you were to click on ultrasound without the applicator plugged in, the warning comes up saying ultrasound applicator is not plugged into unit. Press any button to continue. Down here, you can plug in different things. Right here is a stop switch that the patient can hold. Right here are the two channels that we'll use for putting in the motor nerve stem leads. Each of the leads that we use will come off as one wire and then split into two. So you can do actually two channels and four leads. Let's go closer into the screen. So right here are the different options and what you're not going to see is my finger pushing over here. These are the options you can see on the top screen. 